Okay, so sometimes you have a new horse and it doesn't want to be doesn't want to be caught. There's an easy way to do it. One, is just ignore them. The more you try to catch them, the more they don't want to be caught. The other one is get some grain. Every, most all of them know what this sounds like. So once you get this, a lot of times they'll just come over. So maybe you will, maybe you won't. So let's go find out. Well, I'm not going to do it while he's rolling. Want some food? But you got to be ready with your um, halter to clip it or put it over them. And a lot of them will grab this and then they'll run away. So I usually see how my back's turned to them. Like, oh, I'm not trying to catch you. Because I want to put the hook on them first before he runs away. Hi. So I got the rope. And then he can have it. Well, he can have it. But if you let him eat first, then a lot of times they'll run away. And some people are like, well, I don't want to use food. Well, they don't know you, so in the beginning, you want to associate it with something good. This bug's driving me crazy. And then being caught with something pleasant, right? Because usually you're gonna catch them and ride them or something, that's not so pleasant for them. So if he thinks every time I go to catch them, it's a good thing, guess what? He'll start running over to me. That's why they run to the hay guy or the guy who's graining them. And those guys can usually always catch them. And they don't spend any time with your horse, but they're the food man. So just think of it like the ice cream truck, right? Everybody goes running for the ice cream truck. Ice cream, ice cream, everybody screams for ice cream, right? So now I got him. And he's not scared, but you know, he's been locked up in his stall. And so he was running around. So it makes sense. Why does he want to go back in there? That's no fun being stuck in a box stall. So he's out here having fun visiting with other horses so it's normal that he doesn't want to go back so you can't be mad at him or you know maybe you scared him and he just doesn't you know he's afraid of you so associate it with something good and then over time you can do less and less food and then you won't need the food anymore and the horses will be fine